Okay, this is kind of the second lesson of my bits board instruction. Um, I wanted to show you a little bit about uh, what bits board can do and um, why it is um, a great little app for your classes. Um, it's one that you can use in literacy centers. Um, we can use it as a unit of inquiry activity. Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a tour of how it works. Um, I'm just going to start out by showing you um, when you open your Bitsboard app, it's going to look something like this. It's probably going to be um, in the left hand corner, you're going to see the last user that was logged into Bitsboard. You may see a list of classes and you might see some boards. Um, currently, most of your boards are probably going to come from classes that you've downloaded um, from, from me. So I think we'll just start out by looking at some of those. In the last lesson, we downloaded this ISPP Gold Words. Um, when students use Bitsboard, you can uh, instruct them what board they're going to look at, and you can also decide what activities you want them to do, and that's part of teaching them how to use this app. Um, basically, what they're going to do is select uh, the one that you want them to use, which in this case is ISPP Gold Words. And then you see a list of little uh, tappable icons. And what these are are different activities. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate some of those to you and then maybe give you an idea of ones that might uh, be useful for, um, let's say, learning of the magic words. So uh, an obvious useful activity that you want to do with um, Bitboard is use these flashcards. Okay. And what happens is you will see the word. Um, in most cases, there will be uh, a voice come on that says the actual word itself. Um, but because I'm recording right now, uh, sound from the iPad is not being recorded at the same time. Okay, usually, there will be a voice saying in um, it. Uh, now, this is the flashcard activity. If you want um, children to go to another activity, you can instruct them to go to the little grid in the top right-hand corner, kind of similar to what's um, the little grid in Google. And they just tap on it. That takes them back to the activities. Here, it'll show which one they've done, and then they can choose other ones. Another good activity for, um, especially for magic words, would be something like uh, well, perhaps uh, this word builder might be very helpful. So obviously this is showing the word was. Students have to click on the letters to actually build the word. Okay, Another activity that might be good for students to use when uh, learning sight words would be a spelling bee. Um, this is where actually uh, a voice will come on and say the word and then they have to spell it. Now here they're getting visual clues but this is helping them to um, you know to look at words, notice them, also use the keyboard on the iPad which is a very useful skill. You go back to the grid they can try this trace it game which is pretty good too. So this shows the word gives them a starting point which is the octopus and then they can use their finger and you can you know teach them to use the finger that they use to write and they can actually trace the word this gives them more tactile um, practice and then it shows the word that they've written I'm going to give them another word okay and this actually gives them uh, practice with doing the proper starting and ending points of a letter um, so that's a good activity. Um, another activity that might be good for um, when they are learning magic words is this unscramble. So this is kind of like a puzzle. They have to kind of look at different parts of the puzzle and they can guess whenever they feel ready. And uh, the letters of the word are actually there. And so 
there. Um, you can also do a um, a word chunk gain, which may may not work for some of these words because there's not really much in terms of word chunks, but you can see um, as you get into more double syllable words uh, or multi syllable words, it'll be a more a, a better activity, but can still help. Um, so, um, kind of another, it's a word building activity as well. Um, you can explore some of these activities yourself. There may be times when you want to give students free choice. Um, you can actually limit which activities are shown if you click on this gear. Um, so you can uh, go to the select games option and you can decide on the iPads which ones you want the children to do. Um, so you can take off ones that you don't think are relevant um, or don't necessarily fit with this activity. Um, the only thing is you would have to go into the iPads beforehand and do that. There's no way to globally turn these settings on or off apart from the iPad. Um, okay, that's been uh, this has been part two of how to use bits boards. We've just taken a look at some of the activities that are available for each um, each board, which is what you call uh, sort of each group of words in bits board. Um, in the next section, I'm going to show you how to create a board um, yourself.